get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, many more, now Keith Lee, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, we have Keith Lee, who is president and owner of five businesses, American Retail Supply, 3D Mail Results, Lean Marketing, just to name a few. And he's been practicing the power of exceptional customer service since the 1970s. The wholesale distribution business alone grew from one employee to more than 60. In a given year, they deliver over 46,000 orders to over 8,600 clients, and they have a selection of over 600,000 promotional products you can use to make sure your customers or prospects never forget you. I use them. Keith, thanks for joining me. It's great to be here. Thanks, Jeremy. You know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask... Um, two questions, the lowest moment and the proudest moment. What's been the lowest moment business-wise? The lowest moment for me was um, 2008 when the economy just went down the tube. <clears throat> and um, um, I didn't know if we were going to make it. Mm. Um, I, I, I remember my um, VP of operations has been with me for decades and in the in the conference room and her saying her crying and saying are we going to make it and me saying i don't know mm. i don't know if we're going to make it um and um uh me telling her that you know if you've got another opportunity i wouldn't uh, i'm not going to tell you you should stay here well wow. right, i don't know if we're going to make it or not um and the biggest thing we did then is to get out is to make sure that we did make it is we went back to we <laughs> zero based budgeting which is you know and, if the only you don't hear that term very often, other than with Carly Fiorino, Carly she was talking about going back to zero based budgeting in, with the federal government, and I thought, oh my God, that would be so cool. We would save so much money. Um, so we went back to the zero based budgeting. We went back and said, do we need this? Um, yes, no. Can we um, reduce the price? Uh, can we go back to all of our vendors and negotiate harder? Yeah. Uh, um, and one of the things I did, for instance, back then too, is I I knew that I I know my re- ROI on my marketing, and back then we were doing a lot of um, Google AdWords, yeah. and my ROI was over two years. If I spent a thousand dollars on Google AdWords today, I didn't get that back until about twenty six months later. Really. Did I break- did I break even? Holy but I was cow. willing to do it. <clears throat> yeah. But I was willing to do it. That's that's you know it's it's just an investment. Yeah. Um, but so one of my guidelines was to go that all of our um, marketing that we did needed to have a one year or less R- positive ROI on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we dumped Google AdWords totally. Yeah. Uh, and um, so the, our care for the most part was zero based budgeting and and making sure that. Um, we all worked as hard and as good and as yeah. uh, efficiently as we could. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, That'd keep from... What's that? That would be my low moment. See, from a business standpoint, you put those things in place. Mm-hmm. What do you do from an emotional standpoint? Because <laughs> you spent decades building this business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cry. <laughs> Cry. You know? And, uh, and mm-hmm. you know, and talk, talk with friends. Talk yeah. with family. Talk with... Uh, um, um and uh, pray. Yeah. It's tough. Wow. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah, stop depressing you, but uh yeah. and we'll go to the proud yeah. moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the proudest moment is is uh, doing all of this um growing a a business that I'm ex- businesses that I'm extremely proud of, uh, making differences in other people's lives, and at the same time, staying married for 40 years, and um, never, ever having my family take second place to work. Mm -hmm. Um, My proudest moment by far. Yeah. And I want to ask you about that, but I also want to just point out for the low moment, that's, I think, super valuable 
that what you shared because we can do that budgeting or renegotiating it at right now. You know whether Absolutely. we're you know whether well, we're budgeting is like oh right. my gosh we have, right. every business should go back and do that every five years at right. least. So I'm I'm so glad you shared that because it's a reminder like well we don't have to be in <laughs> dire okay. straits to do that. And that will make fact, a huge difference. I look difference. at that and I think of how much money we waste <laughs> right. by not doing it more right. often. Right. Yeah. Um, so on the proudest moment standpoint, um, so what's some secrets to 40 plus years of marriage for people out there? Uh, finding a spouse who is very patient okay. <laughs> with you um, and uh, knowing that it's not a one-way street. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, knowing, you know, understanding that uh, along the way, you know what the goal is. You know what you know. The goal is you know uh, uh, an intact family that you know you don't have to worry about you know at Christmas time visiting four grandpas and four sets of grandma and grandpas instead of two, um, and all of those things that go with it. And and uh, just understanding <coughs> there was. Um, uh, huge in my life was Harry Chapin's song, Cats in the Cradle. Mm-hmm. Cats in the Cradle in the Silver Spoon, a yeah. little bit spoon. And it's about Dad, uh, who doesn't have time for his son, mm-hmm. while the son is growing up because he's busy working. And then Dad grows up, or the son grows up, and he doesn't have time because he's doing all of these things with his family and work. And uh, my... Um, goal, well, my number one goal every year while my kids were growing up um, was no cats. And uh, and I was not going to have cats in the cradle. Um, Mm -hmm. Number one goal. So that meant that that I had to have time, I had to spend time with them. Uh, And I'm a huge believer in, in part, and a huge part of my management system and what's important to me is, is to give business owners um, the time that they need to spend with their family uh, that, so that they don't have cats either. Um, and that's where actually, that's where the management system came from, is that back in 1991, I was not um, going to give up the time that I spent with my kids. Um, mm-hmm. But I was growing this business, and it was going growing well, And but I had all of these problems going on, and, and I was totally burnt out. Um, because I wasn't willing to give up the time with the kids, but yet I I was dedicated to growing this business, and there was absolutely no time for myself in any kind of fashion of my own personal health and well-being, if you will. So Mm -hmm. that's that's what led to to saying, I don't want this business to grow Mm -hmm. anymore, and then has seen this light at the end of the tunnel with, studying people like Deming and, and those kind of people. Yeah. So that's, um, that's huge to me. My, to me, uh, um, um, if I, well, for instance, Rolf Williams, um, a guy that started with my management system in 2005, um, <clears throat> he has a son who's severely autistic. Mm. Um, and, and I don't know the age, I think it's, I don't, whatever it is, in a year and a half, he, um, he, the son, is no longer eligible to go to school or anything like that, wow. and yeah. so uh, he'll need 24-hour care uh, at home. Yeah. And so Rolf's goal is to make sure that his business is running so smooth yeah. that he can do half of that care at home, and so his wife yeah. doesn't do it all. If you can imagine a, a big, big boy that's now in his tw- 20 years old or whatever, right. and and really have, stressful. Yeah. And, and 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 needing to take care of that person. Yeah. Now, if he if he's got a business like most people, he can't get away from it. Yeah. But that's he looks back at this and 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 what he's done, and it's like, and you know, his his biggest thing is to be able to be away yeah. from that for about be able to work twenty hours a week, um, starting a year and a half from now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Talk, talk about yeah. motivation to put systems in place. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Um, you know, talking about family, family is so important, and you have the pleasure of working with your son mm-hmm. on some projects. What's some, you know, for people who have family businesses or think about starting a business with a family, what's some advantages and disadvantages from from your standpoint? 
Well, disadvantages sometimes, although we've had very few of that, is, is mm-hmm. that, you know, sometimes I mean, Travis and I have a bit of the same personality, and, and a couple times that's kind of exploded and, and could have been bad, but both of us are smart enough to not let it go that way. We have not had very many of the disadvantages. Yeah. Um, we've had a ton of advantages, um, and they are. I get to work with my son, right. uh, and uh, his when when his when his wife brings the kids down, I get to see the kids. Mm-hmm. And, when, and uh, um, although we don't often at all, um, when we're away from work, we very seldom talk about work. Mm-hmm. You know, very very seldom. Um, uh, kind of leave that at work. <clears throat> so that I don't know that I have any huge insight there. I guess we, let me it ask you this. Fine with us. Yeah, let me ask you this, Keith, because I know you have systems for everything. Mm-hmm. What about settling disputes? You know, because it's, it's especially important when you're going with family, and let, there's going to be blow ups. There's going to be you know disagreements. Is there some system with okay. Travis that you have? to settle a disagreement or or something like that we basically go back to the same thing that we use here with um and part of the management system that we have is mm-hmm. how to handle how to handle conflict and confrontation okay um and we go back to those um same um that same structure mm-hmm. uh, we have conflict and confrontation that we use at work and and we use the same thing when we have it at work mm-hmm. um and and it's just a um a system that we have that uh, is is uh, well documented, and and we go, we open up the little our little uh, booklet on co- conflict and confrontation, and we go down through it, and we make those guidelines, and this is how we're going to get through it. Yeah, and we follow that. We again, we just follow the system. What's one of the things in the, that we should be using? What's that? What's one of the things in that system? For people oh, to help with their conflict. Um, let me see. Well, f- one of the things is to make sure that you're open and honest, um, that uh, each person has time to say what they want to say without the other person interrupting. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. This is this will be easier. <laughs> um, um, listen without arguments, either verbal or nonverbal. Feelings need to be supported by facts and specific behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, and if we would need to, uh, we have not yet, but if we did, we would get somebody, we would get a trained facilitator mm-hmm. um, in the business. All of our managers are trained to facilitate personal conflict. Mm-hmm. We don't have it very often. Mm-hmm. Um, but And the reason we don't is we also have this thing over here that says, um, um, personal conflict guidelines to share with your entire team and what they can do um, um, to take care of it. And the bottom line is, you know, there's all these things that say that you need to take care of it yourself, And but if you can't, this is what we're going to do right. to help you solve it. Now, the reality is they almost never want to do the help you solve it part <laughs> um, because right. it means... And getting into a meeting with somebody and sitting down and and, uh, and um, getting through it. Yeah. But the meeting guidelines, if you do, is be open and honest. Everyone will have their say. Uh, listen without argument and verbal, nonverbal. Feelings need to be supported by facts and specific um, uh, behavior. And the facilitator, if you bring... If you bring them in, the facilitator makes sure that you follow those ground rules. They yeah. allow for ventilation of emotion. They ask open-ended questions. They listen objectively and, and offer feedback. And goes down uh, the whole list of things to do there. Yeah, Keith, this has been fantastic. I thank you so much. Where should we point people towards to check out more from you? <clears throat> A couple things. Um, they can get. Um, um, how to control your business and your and your life: Proven Secrets to Creating Highly Productive Teams. They can get that book by going to um, www.howtocontrolyourbusiness.com. Howtocontrolyourbusiness.com. Mm-hmm. And if they want to get the uh, happy, and both of these are two ninety seven for shipping and handling. Two dollars and ninety seven cents. Yeah. Yep. Two dollars and ninety seven cents. And the other one, if they That's want to get steal. the steal. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, and and I don't do that all the time, but I, we we tell it to some people. Yeah. The other one is is uh, go to to get the Happy Customer Handbook. Go to uh, www.thehappycustomerhandbook.com. Is it the Happy Customer Handbook? Yep, the, the Happy. Okay, the Happy Customer Handbook, and they'll all of them link that up to. Um, and then any other places? Um, you can go to keithlee.com dot com. Okay. Um, and find out all kinds of good stuff about us um the happy customer handbook i just want to double check yeah. i think i think it is the, the the is in there yeah it is yep. yeah okay enough yeah and go to keithlee.com and check this out um 3d mail yeah, results also absolutely um. <laughs> absolutely what else do we got going on <laughs> if they're in the pacific northwest uh um go to um uh, what is it? Uh, just just email us if, what they're, is it? if they're interested in if they're interested in being involved with our local um, uh, marketing group out here. Okay. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest. That um, sounds good. Go to, I actually go do to, know and, a bunch of Seattle people. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Go to um, uh, uh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. But just go to 3D Mail or any of those and call us up and ask us about the local marketing group. Yeah. What is that for Travis? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I should know, but I don't. Sorry. It's all right. They'll, they could go to keithlee.com and ask yep. you if they have a question. So, Keith. Oh, here you go. Yeah. No BS. No. Yeah. No BS Puget Sound dot com. No BS Puget Sound dot com. And then what should we, we talked about a lot of different topics. What should we leave people with? No. Oh, gosh. Um, for me, um, I would leave people with balance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for instance, Dan Kennedy, for instance, says balance is bullshit. Um, I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't agree with that. I, I think that um, go 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 Google uh, Zig Ziglar's Balance Wheel of Life. Uh -huh. um, check that out and try to be balanced. Um, <laughs> um, I, I I love how you 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 preface this with. Dan Kennedy says this bullshit. Well, he does. I mean, and yeah. and um, but I but I also I know Dan pretty well, and he's a lot more balanced than you would think. Mm -hmm. uh, also, he's got uh, you know uh, he, he talks, um, but f for me, uh, that's um, that's okay. number one thing. I mean, make sure um, uh, there is you can't have family and and work. You can mm -hmm. have them both. You if you have you if you have systems, right? If you have systems, right? Place, you can have family and work. You can have a life outside of work. You can fly fish. You can ski. You can do all kinds of stuff, and you can grow your business. And if you have the systems in place and you have buy-in from your team, mm -hmm. now I'm not telling you to not be part of your business by any means. But mm -hmm. if you have balance, if you have systems in place and buy-in from your teams, your business will improve whether you're there or not. Right. Um, because that's how it's done. That's how everybody works every day, and it's just part of the system. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and so I guess I'll leave with that. So actually, you made me think of one last question. Um, okay. The biggest fish you ever caught. Truly fishing, fish, fishing. <laughs> you mean yeah, fishing. fishing. Yeah, well, fishing. Here, here, well, here, I'm a little weird there too. Big fish don't impress me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like fishing uh, the smaller rivers where I can wade up them and, and that type of thing. So my biggest fish is uh, now and see we're fly fishing, so we're fly fishing in rivers. We're not fishing in the ocean. Right. So the biggest fish ever caught would have been some salmon I caught in the ocean sometime. But my biggest fish ever caught was probably at Rocky. Um, um, Rocky Knob, no, Rock, Rock, uh, Rock Creek, Rock Creek in eastern Washington, probably about 28 inches, maybe okay. three pounds, on mm -hmm. a little, uh, on a little five weight fly rod. Nice. Yeah. Keith, thank you so much. This has thank been fantastic. Great. Thanks, Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.